Talk about it all here on the Jordy Colada Show. Make sure and hit that like button, share button, comment button. You know, one thing about Jaden that I've tried to talk to him about is tightening his chin strap. Because he doesn't tighten it. So every time he gets hit, it looks like his helmet's all messed up. And it's like, oh, God, he just got rocked. For the win! After a fucking Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, boys. Are you kidding me? Well, uh, LSU fan came stuck his spike in my booty. <laughs> that ball was hard. Oh, 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 oh. Fan brought his two grandkids by and literally was just 30 seconds. Just wanted to say thank you for the team and the season and what you did. And, and how much it means to everybody here is, is truly what makes LSU special. Yeah. Kelly. We're official. Finally. I'm you had a chance you. to meet you. I thought I had to get a private audience with the Pope. There's just, there's Jordy. Money through Friday from 7 to 9. Yeah, you see the notification. We about to go live. We got all your favorite guests. We got them in line. It's the Jordy Collider Show. And Come have a good time. Clearing up, answering the question, I thought, my God, if she gets offered this job, she's going to take it. It's just a crazy, fun time at LSU right now. Isn't this what everybody loves? From the boot to the east to the west coast, no matter where we get, we're going to the show. Open up the phone lines, come and join the show. Make sure you tell your friends about Jordan Collider Show. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Day. Nice. Okay. Right. Here's the show. Come have a good time. Coach, it's great to meet you. Thanks, sir. Thank you for the time. All right, welcome into a Monday edition of the Jordy Collada Show live here from our Click Here Digital Studios on this Monday morning. Sorry, a couple of minutes late here to start the week, but we appreciate you starting it here with us. Make sure to hit that like button, share button, comment button, as we will be here with you until after 8 a.m. The General's going to be here with us. Will Wade McNeese stamped their ticket into the tournament yesterday. We will talk to Coach Wade about the season for the Cowboys, including the 30 wins and winners of their conference tournament as we will talk to Coach Will Wade coming up here at 8 a.m. this morning. LSU basketball, Matt McMahon got their ticket to the NIT. They will host a game tomorrow night inside the Merriment Center versus North Texas. We'll talk all about that coming up uh, within today's show. Also, Coach Kim Mulkey and the crew uh, got their seating. The defending champs are number three. They'll host a couple of spots here in Baton Rouge, including Louisville. A part of the field, Haley Van Liss old squad is going to be in Baton Rouge for a couple of days and it'll set up a potential uh, pre-Final Four matchup with either Iowa or UCLA, or excuse me, uh, yeah, yeah, Iowa or UCLA uh, for, uh, for the Lady Tigers as uh, we will talk uh, about that. They will host 14th seed Rice uh, to start it off. So uh, lots to get to, including... <clears throat> The down weekend in Mississippi State in Starkville for the uh, the baseball Ew. team. Uh, that was a tough one. Ugh. That was a tough one. Humbled. Tough to watch. Humbled were the, uh, were the, were the Tigers. We'll talk all about that uh, coming up on today's show. Uh, as we said, like, share, comment, uh, subscribe if you have not already done so. Daily, we are brought to you by our friends over at RMB Builders, Rhett Bourgeois, uh, our good friend, Red Bourgeois Construction. You can find him on Instagram at RMB Builders. That's the easiest way to hit him up. If you just want to hit him on Instagram, you can send him a DM or you can get on, to the, uh, on the website at rmb-builders.com and you can see custom design homes, uh, handiwork, anything that you need done around the office or around the house. They're the best. Uh, RMB Builders. Check them out, rmb-builders.com. Uh, our phone line brought to you by our friends over at Southern Regional Medical Center. Charlie Harvey, Jason Ramazan, and the entire crew. Uh, remember to get in touch with uh, Southern Regional Medical Center. Real doctors, real solutions. Uh, they are on social media, and daily we're here 
at Click Here Digital. Uh, find them online, clickheredigital.com, a, a digital marketing firm. Uh, we have over 655 star reviews, 500 of those in the automotive space uh, online, clickheredigital.com. All right, LSU baseball over the weekend, a rough one, man. Uh, Friday was blistered uh, by Mississippi State. It was close for a minute. Uh, and then Mississippi State busted it wide open uh, late in the game. Uh, Saturday was back and forth. LSU jumped out to a big lead uh, early on, was not able to manufacture any runs after the third, and was able to hang on for dear life uh, in game two and get a one-run victory versus Mississippi State. And then yesterday uh, was blown out again 15-5 uh, as the Tigers were... Uh, Beat up at the dude. Uh, it was a uh, rowdy atmosphere, just like you you anticipated it would be. Uh, Mississippi State was ready for the weekend. Uh, they came in playing uh, really good baseball, and they improved um, to fifteen and six overall, two and one in the SEC. And from Mississippi State's uh, standpoint, their starting pitcher uh, worked five innings, allowed three runs, five hits. Uh, struck out six, and, you know, it's kind of where you start is with the offense, and Thatcher heard uh, a loss yesterday, allowed seven runs, seven hits, five innings of work, uh, three strikeouts, three free passes yesterday for Thatcher. Uh, very inconsistent here early on for Hurd uh, as he's off to a one-and-two start, and, you know, defensively we'll talk about it because they've struggled in the field as well even behind the pitching staff here uh, to start to start conference play. It's not all been uh, on the pitching as some of the defense has been a little lackluster as, 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 as well. But offensively, um, I think that's, that's where the, the opening concern has to lie, right? I mean, it, it was outside of Tommy White, and White is mashing the ball right now. Three home runs in three days for White, and he hit some missiles out of Mississippi State. I mean, that, that one he hit yesterday at the dude was, I mean, it was a scorcher. Um, but outside of, of, of White offensively, right, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it, it's just very inconsistent. Um, and, and that's what it's been consistent of. Consistently inconsistent, uh, it feels like. Uh, yesterday, just some, some, some struggling at bats uh, for LSU. Bad you know, at bats. Like bad, bad. Horrible at bats. I mean, like, not what you expect to see from uh, th this type of talent, this type of lineup, um, you know, with, 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 with the coaching that they have. And, and I understand that uh, this is probably in – and was a long trip home for Jay Johnson. Oh, he he was. That's I he mean, was on in the post game. I mean, I was like the 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 whoever's got the balls to step up and ask questions here. Good on you because you're earning your you're earning your reporter check today. I mean, that was you could sense. I mean, he was just not in a good place of, um, you know, being able to talk about his team right there in the heat of the moment. It's just, man, it, it's it's tough to explain. It is. I, I mean, like I, you know, I mean, you know, you came out of the non-conference looking back on it, and I think we were probably all guilty of probably, you know, raising the stock a little too high coming out of non-conference. But in the same sense, I mean, look, they, especially from a defensive pitching standpoint, they were. They were on another level, it felt like, to where they had been in the past couple of years. And not saying that they can't get there because they definitely have the arms, but you know, some of the guys that we thought were maybe invincible going into SEC play turned out to be uh, very human in, in the sense of, I mean, Kate Anderson was knocked around. We mentioned Thatcher Hurd, uh, Luke Holman on Friday night. You know, I mean, Holman was a guy that, you know, almost was – feeling like skeins coming out of that that Houston Minute Maid, that, that Astros Foundation classic. Um, and, 
you know, obviously that that is not the case coming out of the first weekend of SEC play. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it, look, I don't want to jump to conclusions, right? I mean, you don't want to sail the, the, the year away. Um, there's definitely some things that you have to work on and grow on. And, and again, I am not going to push the panic button on the offense because I believe in Jay Johnson that much. I mean, I just believe that he is going to have his team figure it out. He's an offensive coach. His teams have consistently, historically, been offensively good. It's something that he puts a premium on. And I just imagine he'll get it figured out. There are a lot of options, too. Coach, I'm just looking at like SEC stats over here, and the the the, the batting stats are awful. Yeah, like they're bad, they're bad. Like versus left-handed pitching, LSU is two for twenty-six, batting seventy-seven. Ugh. And then against right-handed pitching, they're batting three eleven, with runners on batting one seventy, with bases empty three forty, with bases loaded two fifty. So, I mean, the two main stats there are bases loaded. And versus left-handed pitchers, they're basically a bad team. You got to be able to hit the ball with runners on. Yeah, I th- and look, I think they get it right. You know, I mean, I think that they 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 find in time they'll get it right. And that the only the only thing that leaves you a little weary is just the schedule. I mean, if you looked around this weekend, the SEC is loaded. I was peeking a little bit at that Florida A and M series. Florida took Game Three yesterday. It was a back and forth series all weekend, but two top ten teams. Battling one another, Alabama, Tennessee this weekend was a great series. I mean, the, the, the SEC is fantastic. And then you look up and you got Florida coming to town this weekend. I Ew. mean, <laughs> you know, like just a just a rematch of the national championship coming off of a little coming off a little adversity to start the season in, yeah. in, in conference play. So I mean, you know, you try to get this thing right. You got Louisiana Tech coming in here on Tuesday night and you know obviously Johnson will have the the pedal down on trying to figure out you know what's what's best here and I mean with Florida coming in town this weekend off of a big series win versus A&M this weekend um it it, it sets up to be another you know fist fight no SEC road team won their series this weekend wow so all the home teams got the win look at that it's good. I mean, yep. that, that was Mississippi State was solid, man. I mean, their lineup, they came at they kept coming at you. And I I think there was smoke before the season or after last season that Jordan, forty two, was gonna leave Mississippi State. Coach, if he would have left, I know Jay Johnson would have had that call in quick. Which one? Jordan. Forty two. Oh. Golly. He hit a bomb he had bombs. Like couldn't get him out like christian said they couldn't get him out i mean it was this was tough to watch like this was this was very very tough to watch especially after like last season and even like the season before they didn't struggle like it it just never seemed like they struggled like this yeah like especially with the bats it was just that's why i I mean look man they're they're gonna figure it out yeah they will but i believe it's just i'm riding with jay johnson i'm not panicking i ain't bailing i ain't worried look i'm not bring on florida Really, I mean, I, I kind of like that Florida is next up. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, there's give no way that ride home was – that had to be very silent, very, like, just kind of head down. Everybody just – I mean, <laughs> you better get this thing right by the time we get home. You know you know, it's bad when Jay's calling timeout with Tommy White up, up to bat. Like, in the middle of his at-bat. And I want to give a shout-out to Tanks on – his glove. I mean, coach, he's making plays all weekend. I mean, like, that double play he made where he scoops, steps on the bag, and just a missile. That thing was never four feet off the ground. I mean, Jones almost caught it like a catcher. Yeah. Shout out to Tanks, man. He Look, he, he's, he might be SEC player of the week. I mean, mm-hmm. really. I mean, in, in a loss. I mean, it, I don't know if there was a better defense or offensive player in the conference. So, at least, you know, your headliner is there. And, you know, he's seeing it and defending at a very high level. So, um, 
I'm I'm with it. I I, I think LSU is it, they'll be okay. All right. Yeah. Just I'll be all right. Bad first very, weekend though. Yeah, it's just very hard to watch. Very. Mississippi State was talking shit. Doing yeah, well, the, I mean, they always are, to get the they gap. Are, they you are. know, like it's just like different. They you know. always are. Gonna, I mean, there's old boy was running by the the dugout on Friday night. Yeah, it seemed like said Jay Johnson lost it. It seemed like Bear Jones had some words for one of Mississippi State's players after the game Saturday. After the last out, you could see he catches the third out and like the umpire is running to go off the field. Then he turns around to go back to first base to kind of like. Fellas, we got to split this up. Like, you go to your side, Mississippi State, you go to your I side. I if Bear Jones is the guy that I, I would go, mess I with Bear Jones. I wouldn't go or... after Bear nah, Jones. I'd probably I mean, go to Milam. There's a football. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, skip first what you looking at, Monster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but Bear Jones ain't the guy. Nah. Lamona seemed like a hothead. The Lamona's head coach the, from Mississippi State? <laughs> the head coach for State. Yeah. I mean, he was... I couldn't believe he didn't get thrown out on Saturday. I couldn't believe Jay didn't get thrown out. I know. Out I think Jay almost wanted to get thrown out. I think he did, too. I think at one point he was like, I'm about to, yeah. about to show the boys Throw something. Me, yeah, like, get me out of here. I don't want to watch <laughs> right. this anymore. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> uh, so just one of those weekends. Turn around and get it right. Uh, we'll talk more about it coming up here. We're going to talk to Will Wade coming up at 8 o'clock this morning. LSU plays Louisiana Tech. On Tuesday night, as we said, uh, this one going to be in Baton Rouge as uh, LSU is going to host Florida this weekend. That'll be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday series as uh, the Tigers will be hosting uh, Florida, who probably will make a jump, I'd imagine, uh, in the polls after their weekend as uh, they took care of business versus A&M in a three-game set down in Gainesville past uh, last weekend, which... Uh, Went the Gators way. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that before we get out of here. Uh, another big weekend for Brad Davis. I mean, like, I almost thought, I was like, am I getting fooled by the I, internet? I, 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 I thought was I was like, getting duped. It's just a middle of the day commitment. I guess. text one of the guys. I was like, is this, is this for real? I mean, yeah. Once I saw Shade put it out, I was like, okay, now I was hit. this is real. This is real smoke. I mean, in all reality, like, March baseball is fun. And Mississippi State, you you took it, you know, like you 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 beat LSU. There's there's nothing that LSU can say on the other side that to uh, excuse what happened this past weekend, right? Like, good job. We'll take the offensive lineman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, you take the baseball series in March. We'll take Tyler Miller, the number one offensive. We'll take lineman the in number one offensive lineman in the state. <laughs> The number one interior offensive lineman in the country, like, uh, you—that's a good swap. You know what I mean? Like, if I'd have met with you on Friday and said we'll give you the series for the offensive lineman deal, done. Deal. You know, and in fact, you can blow them out. <laughs> How about that? How about that? You can run them out the stadium <laughs> on so on Friday and Sunday. You can have like, it. I mean, you can embarrass them. It could be your Mardi Gras in March. <laughs> it could be your party at the dude. You know, yeah, yeah, your St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy it. I mean, dude, wear green. Do your we'll own thing. We'll take Tyler Miller, though. <laughs> like, that is a, that is a win for, for LSU this past weekend as Brad Davis. Good Lord, Brad Mop Davis. Him up. I mean, man, Brad Davis. <laughs> Pay this man. Bo Davis got to be looking over. Like, <laughs> I mean, right. you got another one. <laughs> give me, give me a chance to recruit some Another D-line. one, bro. Is the transfer portal open this week? I think it does. Oh, jeez. Um, Could get scared. To wrap it up, though, Brad Davis, another enormous weekend. One of the top players in Mississippi for the class of 2025, committed to LSU yesterday morning. Tyler Miller, the number 71 overall player in the class of 2025, a top 100 player, according to ON3, announced his decision to play for Brad Davis, Brian Kelly, and LSU. ON3 has Miller as the number one interior offensive lineman in the country and the number 32 player in the class at six foot five, 310 pounds. I mean, this is Emory Jones. Yep. Hey, hey, this is another Emory Jones walking in. The potential for... Uh, starting and playing early is very high for uh, Miller. Uh, Miller chose LSU 
over Florida, Mississippi State. Uh, he visited LSU this past weekend, or excuse me, uh, last weekend. Uh, and he told on three, really, when I went up to LSU, the minute I went through the door, Brad Davis, Dr. Arnold, and others, they all felt like I was at home talking to people that I knew for years. I feel myself graduating and becoming a better man there with Coach Kelly. His relationship with the coaching staff uh, there played the role, obviously. Uh, when Miller asked who was his leading recruiter and who he was closest to, uh, he fired back. I feel like I'm closest to Brad. Uh, that's a person I can give a lot of respect and hustle to. Uh, his grind is amazing. My relationship with coaching staff and family and their plan for me is having a good chance of making an impact as soon as I step on campus. Mm. But I have to work every day and nothing is going to be given to me. Um, just an enormous get by Brad Davis. I just, I, I don't, I, there's nothing more you can say. I mean, other than just yeah. make sure and lock him up. I sure. mean, he has got like young Frank Wilson vibes. Yeah. Where, you know, I mean, there's like stories of Frank Wilson on the Ole Miss staff, uh, with, with, you know, Ed Ogeron and then Lane Kiffin's Tennessee staff where he would walk into the room and be like, we got another one. And be like, say what? <laughs> hey, you just got another one. Five star. I mean, just, you know, like just a, a young, dynamic, competitive recruiter, Brad Davis. Shout out. Pay the guy, for God's sakes. I mean, <laughs> give him a lifetime contract. I mean, this is, I think in like circles, this is his dream job. I think he's told people this is his dream job. He's from Baton Rouge. He's an offensive line coach that, you know, is got the pedigree and the resume where he's worked for some of the, you know, he was Sam Pittman's understudy for a while. I mean, he's gotten great tutelage. He's been all around the country. You talk to him, ask him. I mean, he's always smiling, loves being home. All his people are here. I mean, I'm sure the, the, the money matters. But in reality, he'd probably do the job for free. I mean, it's just, it's the, it, it's the perfect mix for LSU on the offensive line. A, a unit in a room that has struggled for a long time. I mean, that, that, that room was habitually bad for forever. I mean, they couldn't pull anybody. And now to have, I mean, I've lost count on how many top players at their position they have. I mean, Tyler Miller's the number one interior offensive lineman in the country. I thought they already had that guy. You know, I mean, I mean, I, I, really, I mean, I, I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I mean, it's just like they, they, all of these cats are just high end, top end players. It's impressive what Brad Davis is doing. It's, it's sincerely impressive to what he's doing. Daily, we're brought to you by Go Roof Online. Man, it stormed this past weekend. Yeah, all weekend. I mean, it stormed. Yesterday, I was on the road coming back from New Orleans in the middle of the rain yesterday morning. It was it was as scary as a drive that I've made in a, in a while. I mean, it, you couldn't see 10 feet in front of you on the road. If you have damage to your roof, if you need roof repair, if you need roof maintenance, remember our friends over at Go Roof, Trusted Man. Uh, there are testimonials that you can find online at geauxroof.com. You can call them yourself at 225-927-8300. 225-927-8300 is the phone number to get in touch with Go Roof. Uh, and that is for commercial or residential roofing. So if you're showing up to the office this morning and you notice some roof damage from over the weekend, uh, that you may not have uh, recognized or didn't know about. Get in touch with Go Roof. They can be over there today. They'll be up on the roof, diagnose the problem, get to work, really. Uh, they'll work with the insurance uh, company and make sure and take the headache out there. Uh, easy to work with, a very uh, trusted, long-lasting name, over 15 years in business. Uh, and if you're a new listener, if you're in a new area, if we're hitting you for the first time and uh, you're watching, and look, we're new to New Orleans.football. We've been here for 
uh, since, since the start of the year. Uh, and if you're just finding us for the first time and you're on the North Shore or you're down in New Orleans and you need a roofer and you may not trust anybody in the area or you're, you're, you're new to the area or looking for, for, for a roofer that you can trust, uh, you're in the service area for Go Roof. Uh, so hop online and check it out. Get a quote today. Uh, you can get them out uh, or call them, 225-927-8300. A beautiful roof every single time. Beautiful roof uh, every single time with our friends over at Go Roof online at geauxroof.com. All right, the brackets are set as well, uh, Stewie here. Not not only is LSU going to uh, the NIT, which is huge, man. I mean, shout out real quick to uh, uh, to uh, Matt McMahon, to the LSU basketball team. I know we've said this uh, a couple of times this year, but really, I mean, to, to, to have them in the NIT, same thing we said, you know, about kind of the Mississippi State, Tyler Miller situation. You know, if somebody would approach me on Friday and said, look, you're going to lose this LSU baseball series this weekend, but you're going to get the number one offensive lineman in the state and Tyler Miller, and he's widely considered to be the number one offensive interior lineman in the country, you say, I mean, that's a, all right, where do I sign, right? If somebody would have walked up to me at the beginning of the basketball season after that Nichols loss in November and said, this team's going to go to the NIT, and it said, where do I sign right now? Like, I'll take that deal today. And credit to Matt McMahon and the crew for putting all the work down and getting it done. I mean, for McMahon to be hosting an NIT game in season two, that's huge. I mean, like, that's a, that's an, that's a, that's a big win. No matter what happens on Tuesday night versus North Texas, at this point, it's all gravy. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, like, do you want to be an NIT team? No. But, I mean, coming from where they came from a season ago, this is true sign of growth. I mean, this is improvement. You don't want to be there next year. You want to be in the big dance. But, I mean, if this is the stop along the way that you got to make, all good, man. I mean, that is, uh, that's a good news. I mean, that's, that's that's a win. That's. There's no other way to look at that. I mean, that is a successful NIT hosting a first round for the NIT is, uh, man, that, that, that's it's big. It's big. I mean, finish the season with a, with, with a, a winning record, a 17 and 15, 9 and 9 in conference play. That's um, plus seven wins. In the SEC, from 23 to 24. That's tied for second in improvement among all teams in Power 6 conferences behind only South Carolina in the SEC. I mean, if you're a stock, that line's going up. It's going through the roof. Right? I mean, like, if you're, if you're looking at the stock line of LSU, two years ago, the arrow was pointing into the grave now, I mean, it's straight up. So, I, I, I hope it, I hope it's a great atmosphere tomorrow night. Six o'clock start. Hopefully, everybody can make it. Get over there. I don't know what the weather's going to be like, but I, I think tickets go on sale today. But I mean, postseason. You got a lot of postseason basketball right now on on LSU's campus. We mentioned that LSU is going to host North Texas in, in, in men's action at 6 o'clock. The women got the word yesterday that they're a three seed. And look, I, I feel like I could probably complain about that. I feel like I could probably, you know, even like rant about that. They don't feel like a three seed. They don't feel like they deserve a three seed. It feels disrespectful that they are a three seed, but whatever. Right? I mean, like at some point... You're going to have to go through Iowa, South Carolina, LSU, Stanford, UCLA. You got to play them at some point. I mean, Cinderella now does exist in women's basketball. It used to be a sport that was just dominated by UConn and Tennessee. I mean, it was weird when other teams won national championships. Now, the parody is starting to split and splinter. And has over the past 15 years. But, you know, I mean, it was still a, a heavyweights game. Now, I mean, it's more open 
But LSU is one of the big dogs at the party, and they got as big a chance and as much of a chance as anybody, and they're playing as good as they have all season long. They're playing right at the right time. So, you know, I mean, we could sit and complain that they got to go to Albany. You know, they got to go to Albany, like Coach Mulkey. I don't know. Is it Albany or Albany? Um, but, I mean, you know, you got to go to Albany in the next round, and you got to go through Iowa and UCLA and or UCLA to get there. It feels a little weird. I mean, like, that's the type of stuff we were talking about last week. The the, the fact that they, they wouldn't want Caitlin Clark. I guess you want the – I don't know what they're thinking. I, I just would think that you would want Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark on the last weekend of, of college basketball. But, I mean, I'm not in the suit. I'm not in that room. Rematches, so tickets. Yeah. I mean, none of that. But they're, they're superstars. They're marquee names. Yeah. I mean, Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark – you would want them dancing on the last weekend. We'll see. Um, but for for LSU women, uh, they are set to, uh, as we said, they are a three seed. They'll face number 14 seeded Rice in the first round uh, on Friday. So LSU will host uh, the matchup between um, the Tigers will be first on Friday between Rice and LSU and then the matchup between Louisville and Middle Tennessee will take place after that. The winner of both games will meet on Sunday for an opportunity to play in upstate New York in Albany, uh, in Albany, whatever. Um, the number one seed uh, in, in Albany is, is Iowa, and the number two seed is UCLA. LSU's the three seed. So, you know, I mean, be a nice momentum wave if you can get out of this thing with, you know, beating Caitlin Clark. Which, yeah. I, I, I got to be honest, I mean, I've watched, I mean, I was on, they're on every. They're on a lot. They're on every weekend. So, I mean, I've had a chance to watch them play. I mean, you know, she, it's, it's easier said than done. But I'd imagine Flaugier would be a problem for her. She carries that team. I mean, you, you, you limit her to 25. 28, you win. And I think LSU can do that. Yeah. She really does. Uh, UCLA scares me more than she does. Yeah. UCLA plays better. I mean, UCLA's team. a better team. Mm -hmm. They're deeper. Yeah, I've, I've watched uh, Iowa play a couple times. It's really Caitlin Clark and Caitlin I mean, Clark. It's the Caitlin Clark show. I mean, and, and – I mean, I, understand. I, mean, I it's get understandable. it. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get the whole, I get the whole build up, the, the, the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, she's she's as natural of a scorer as I've ever seen play basketball. I mean, I don't. It doesn't matter what gender, what male, female. I mean, she's as good of a natural scorer. I mean, like she shoots with her body off balance, her feet are off balance. I mean, it's like, and she shoots from like 30, 35 feet. Doesn't even hit the rim. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, Steph Curry type stuff. Kyrie Irving type stuff. Yeah, like, I mean, it's like, just, damn, she makes that anywhere. look so easy. You go out in the driveway, try to do that. I mean, you throw like 10 air balls up. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, I think, I, I you know, look, I, I've never been the one to buy into the conspiracy theory that people are out to get one and, you know, like all this stuff, but. I mean, I, I do believe that there is there is this this deal about Mulkey. You know that people. I mean, it's 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 just she's just a very polarizing personality. And you know, I, I think more of the. You know, people very much kind of view her through a political lens, whether it's fair or unfair, and it feels like, you know, that's what type of reaction she draws from people. I mean, the only type of the only type of comparison that I, I could make to the type of vitriol that Kim Mulkey or the type of love that Kim Mulkey gets is is political. I mean it's 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 crazy. And I think easy things like this is you know kind of easy to look at. I mean does her team feel like a three seed? I mean, does a three? I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying it's not fair. 
I, I just thought for sure they were a, they were a one. A, a, you know, I thought for Maybe sure they seat. are two. Yeah, I thought for sure at the very least they were a two. Yeah, I mean, look at this bracket. I, I I don't really watch much other women's basketball yeah, besides either. LSU. Me either. I don't want I don't want to I mean, claim you got that Notre I do. Dame as a two seat, UCLA, and I, I, I don't know. I I just don't know enough about the sport to say LSU, but I do think LSU didn't deserve a third seed, a three seed. Like I it think feels, they're a better team than a three seed. Feels a little low. I mean, just you know, outside looking in, I I don't you know I, again, I can't speak of it with huge experience and knowledge, but I mean, I've watched enough of LSU to know that you can't want to play them right now. Yeah. I mean, you just you you, you can't want to play them because they got to be they just feel themselves, man. Right? Um so and then you look at the men's bracket. The one seeds that were announced yesterday in the West Region North Carolina is the one seed in the Midwest Purdue is the one seed. That feels like an upset waiting, uh, waiting to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see here. In the South, Houston is the one seed. In the East, it's UConn uh, is the uh, is the one seed. Uh, a couple of SEC teams getting in there, including Mississippi State, who made a big run and a big push past LSU in the opening round. They will open up. In the West Region versus Michigan State uh, on Thursday. It's a great time of the year, Stewie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a fantastic time of the year. Uh, nothing like daytime basketball that starts on Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm trying to look. We'll have so we'll, we'll, um, we'll have our brackets posted by by at least Wednesday. Uh, but I'm trying to think. I, I love UConn. I'm. I got a little buyers. I'm. I'm scared of Houston in March. They've, Houston men. They've bitten me so many times. <laughs> they've bit. They've bit. They've bit me so many times. I've bit the bait on them. Uh, Purdue feels like that same type of hot stove. Don't want to touch. Like done it before. Gotten burned. Painter and Edie scare me. Yeah, I know. So. I know. Uh, and then North Carolina is the one seed. You know, I would I, I would be scared of a team like Kentucky in the tournament. Yeah. Like Kentucky would scare me. Uh, what Did Florida lose one of their players yesterday to a yeah. broken leg? Yeah, he broke his leg like in the middle yeah. of the game. Uh, one of the best players. Man. My, my son and um, Coach McMahon's son play on the same, like, AAU team and McMahon was like kind of you could tell he was like looking at his phone and he left in between the games and on the way out he was like something just happened to a Florida player yeah, he, and, he was, and he was like they say it was bad like they brought the stretcher out yeah it was one of those kind of like Kevin Ware like not not oh, as wow. bad but it was it was like that like that like leg out of place type deal he just came down on it trying to get a rebound came down on it and yeah. he just went straight to his leg Golly. Um, also, another state school. We said we're going to talk to um, uh, we're going to talk to Will Wade um, coming up here in a couple of minutes uh, at eight a.m. As he got the uh, McNeese State team into uh, into the tournament for the first time in a while. How about the SWAC champions, Grambling State? Grambling State heading back to uh, to, to to the big dance. Uh, shout out to uh, to Grambling State. As that was a rematch of last year's uh, tournament title game, uh, Texas State, which is Johnny Jones, uh, former LSU coach who leads Texas State. Uh, but yesterday they lost to Grambling 75 66, as uh, this was um, the, 20, uh, the 2024 SWAC tournament champs. Uh, it was the first time that it took night, uh, that was a night game, um, and uh, Grambling takes it uh, for the first time. And they are heading to the big dance uh, on Sunday as they'll be heading back uh, in uh, in the first time for uh, over 10 years. Uh, so shout out to the Gramlin basketball program uh, as they're heading back to uh, to March Madness. What a cool time uh, right now for uh, for Grambling basketball as they will win. Uh, or excuse me, they will uh, 
uh, being a play-in game versus Montana State uh, coming up on Wednesday night. Uh, so that's where they'll settle in. Uh, we will talk to Coach Will Wade about where he uh, is on the bracket, what his thoughts are uh, of the matchup, uh, how magical of a season this has been uh, down in Lake Charles to what's going on right now. Uh, Grambling and Mont Montana State will uh, match up Wednesday night uh, in the Midwest region as that will be the, uh, the, the game before, uh, for the Tigers, uh, 640 on Wednesday night in that play-in game. Uh, as that'll be coming up. So uh, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll be back. Uh, close out hour one. We'll be setting up Will Wade, stopping by here at, uh, at 8 a.m. Red Stick Sports, a local staple in Baton Rouge to all sports fans, was founded back in 1981 and has remained a family business for over 40 years. Today, they still have the great selection on the floor, but they're also a leader in custom apparel for businesses, sports teams, and other groups. Take it from us, everybody over here at FM Digital Media. They help us out with all of our apparel. Let them help you out today. Go ask for Cody over at Red Stick Sports. Check him out online at redsticksports.biz. The Jordy Collada Show is brought to you by A Bears Lawn Maintenance. Commercial or residential, A Bears Lawn Maintenance is ready to work. A Bears can tackle all your homeowners association requirements. Call Blake at 225 485 8022. A Bears Lawn Maintenance. Hey, Tiger fans, when you're traveling through Natchez, Mississippi, make sure to visit Tom and Wright Granning at Go Mart and On The Go Deli, where you can fill up your tank and your belly. Go Mart has clean restrooms, community coffee, an awesome beer cave, and a great selection of anything you may need on your trip. Located at 4 Sergeant Prentice Drive as you're entering Natchez on the left. Also stop by Wardo's Po' Boys at 309 North Broadway on the beautiful Natchez Bluff, where the Po' Boys are so good you'll swear you're in Cajun country. At Auctioner, we know healing is a team sport. That's why we've partnered with world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. James Andrews, to create the Auctioner Andrews Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Institute. Whether you're a professional athlete or a weekend warrior, our team of specialists are dedicated to getting you back in the game. So whatever your reasons are for reaching your personal best, we've only got one, you. Auctioner Andrews Institute, long live you. All right, buddy. Make yep. it a good shot. Oh, yeah. Sticking the roof in. Hey, Greg. Roof up. Roos up! Roos up! Roos up! Roos up! Roos up! Roos up! Beautiful roof every single time. True. True. Well, the Oscars Andrews Sports Medicine Institute collaborative effort uh, was uh, an idea from Dr. Andrews and myself to bring together two great names, the Andrews name and the Oscar name, to elevate the quality of care for athletes in the state of Louisiana, where he's from, I always thought I would come back to Louisiana to practice orthopedics with my subspecialty being sports medicine. This was an opportunity through Oshners to come back and work the entire state to help develop and take sports medicine to a new level. As an orthopedic surgeon, what this means in the future in terms of you know, access for our community, the type of care that Dr. Andrews pioneered, words can't describe how valuable that is. Oshner has a great opportunity here to, to really grow, and Dr. Burnham, of course, is the mainstay of making that happen. If you want to have first-class sports medicine care, check in with Dr. Burnham and his group, and you'll be more than impressed and pleased. Fourier Insurance Agency, established in 1946, helping you with your home, auto, commercial, life and health insurance needs, Around in Baton Rouge at 4275 Government Street and online at FourierAgency.com. 
Whatever insurance you're in the market for, home, auto, commercial, contractors, life and health, get in touch with Fourier Insurance Agency, FourierAgency.com, or give them a call at 225-383-0682, Fourier Agency. Get Gordon. And get it done. Yeah. Everybody know Gordon in a 225. And he done leave with Big Four. He got Buku ties for Rice sliding, flying in a new cool ride. And every time I ride by, I see a brand new sign. I'm a Gordon. I know that he gon' get it done. Whether it's a big truck crash or a hit and run. Recovery funds, he fighting to get a ton. Mike Epps, man, we all about the Benjamin. Handling injuries, man, are you kidding me? Gordon McKernan, that's champion energy. Yeah. Family man with a family plan. Get Gordon, he gon' fix it like a handy man. Get Gordon. And get it done. I'm getting deposits, evil in the way, now I'm just driving around it, they said I need the soul searching, I already found it, I unlocked my other side, now I'm sounding astounded, drive by and let it ride like a whip in a Tesla, pressure never fades me cause I'm bigger than pressure, I'm on my grind bullshit, can't fit on my schedule, I'ma do what's best for me, you can keep all your lectures, spend the summer stacking bread, might be gone till November, pulling up like Trey Young just to freeze up December, I got niggas on the blood like traditional sinners, OGs love me so I hang with traditional Winners. I took a break for a minute, I had to go charge up. Had to focus on my business, I'm coming back smarter. Heat up DJ, sell them go like I'm dropping the carter. Coming back like KD, it's time to go harder. Bounce back, can't let you fold up. Keep pushing, can't let you slow up. Bounce back, can't let you fold up. Keep pushing, can't let you slow up. Bounce back, can't let you fold up. Keep pushing, can't let you slow up. Bounce back, can't let you fold up. All right, welcome back here. We're going to talk to Will Wade coming up here in a couple of minutes, 8 a.m. The general going to join us. Salute to the general. Remember our friends over at Katie's Restaurant, New Orleans, uh, online at katiesinmidcity.com, located on Iberville Street. You can find them down there. New Orleans favorites, uh, all that you can find. The St. Louis-style pizza, cold beer, great service. Online, katiesinmidcity.com. Katiesinmidcity.com is where you can find them. And their sister restaurant, uh, Francesca's Deli over in Lakeview. Uh, Stewie and I were talking about this Patriots documentary that we just wrapped up on Apple Television uh, that the 10th part of the series debuted on uh, on Friday. And uh, I've been gobbling these things up. They've been putting them out two at a time uh, for the last four weeks. See, I didn't um, watch episode 10 yet. Oof. I, I watched nine. I didn't watch 10. 10's great. You know, 10, 10's kind of, you know, Brady kind of coming back and, and, and the retirement. And, you know, it's kind of that. Sappy story. Him and Kraft, yeah, yeah. kind of ended on good terms. Father and but son type deal. It, it is, and if you haven't watched it, it's great. And I'm giving you a, a couple of, um, you know, a couple of minutes. If you, if you want to watch it, you know, I mean, I, I would definitely encourage. It's great behind the scenes. It's a great documentary. You know, it's the Patriots dynasty from Robert Kraft, Bill Belichick, and Tom Brady's point of view. Um, that there are some highs and lows to it. You can tell that you know Brady and Kraft are definitely behind the story, but Belichick does not do himself any favors on this thing, right? Like Belichick is, he, 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 first and foremost, he's on it, like he's he's there, which is very surprising. So like they went to him and said, "Do you want to be a part of this?" And he agreed. Like he's not there, you know. Like they're not making him do this. He's sitting there and has an opportunity to defend himself on a lot of, uh, you know, to defend himself on some of this stuff that was going back and forth with him and Brady. That now that 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 it's in the past and they had the 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 success that they did, and there's no denying that. And, and Belichick is a first ballot guy. He's one of the all time greats. But to to see that Brady spent 18 years. With the Patriots, took them to the Super Bowl fifty percent of the time. I mean, really. And Belichick, who is a football lifer, like has dedicated his whole life to football and coaching it. And I'd imagine if you're a football lifer, you wait your whole life for a guy like Brady. Bill Walsh had Joe Montana. Mike Holmren had Brett Favre. You know, like the, the guys that were football, Andy Reid's got Patrick Mahomes. 
Yeah, it, like the guys that are in it that have been working their whole life for it, at some point you intersect with this once-in-a-lifetime player that you can marry and you two experience enormous success or failure together. Like we're either gonna, they're either gonna love us or they're gonna hate us, right? Like we're either gonna win or lose. They're gonna build streets about us or they're gonna run us out of town. Belichick had the best of all time, the greatest of all time, the undeniable best player in football history. Belichick had walking into the building every day for 18 years, 10 of them, he tried to get rid of him. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I was telling Stewie and, and, and Christian, I mean, my wife and I are at a, at a St. Patrick's Day party Saturday night after I'd spent all day in a basketball gym, finally starting to catch a good little buzz from the day. It's a pretty day, good vibes. And I look at her, and I mean, in the middle of like smiles and everybody having a good time, I say, I can't believe what Belichick did to Brady. And she was like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Heartbroken. And I'm like, I'm hurt, dog. <laughs> I really just can't believe that Belichick's a football lifer. He had Tom Brady and he spent 50% of his career trying to run him off. And some dude was like, the Patriots dynasty? And I'm like, can you believe it? He's like, I, 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 I can't, can't believe it, dude. It. I can't believe it. I was like, I mean, I'm a Brady guy. I love Brady. And Belichick tried to run him off. Like Bill Belichick. Like, what? Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs> J- Jimmy G? You got, you, got t- you got Tom Brady in his prime. He sacrificed his whole family. He sacrificed his life to play football. And you're miserably mad at this guy? Like, I don't get it, bro. I, like, I just I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't fathom it. Even Robert Kraft's like, Bill! I don't, I don't, Bill! <laughs> Bill! What do you what do you what do you mean? You got six of these things. You got Tom Brady. He shows up. He's earlier than you. He comes to the bill. He stays later than you. He's er, he's giving up contract money. You're pissed off about his trainer. Like, get over uh, it. He doesn't throw the deep ball well. I, I mean, like Alex Guerrero is not going to be allowed around. Like, what? Huh? <laughs> he's Tom Brady's guy. I don't, I don't care. He's going to leave. Wait, 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 wait. It's Brady's guy. Like, I mean, the rule's different for him. Gronk's got a broken back. He <laughs> fixed Gronk's broken back. I just, I I, I, it, I couldn't believe it. It's, I still can't believe it. I mean, I, I still can't. I mean, Saturday night, I, just, I, can't, like, I can't believe what I Belichick mean, did to Brady. That would be like Ed Orgeron in 2019 saying, yes. I don't want Joe Burrow as my quarterback. Like, what, I want what can Danny we do Anthony. to get Burrow? Like, let's give give Brennan all the, the practice snaps. <laughs> huh? Hey, what do you mean? This guy's once in a lifetime. He's I, generational. I don't care. Like, Bill, you've been in the – it's not like you're new to the game. Like, you've been coaching football for 40 years. This is Tom Brady. Been coaching football basically your whole life. Like, I mean, you you coached on the Army team in the 60s, man. <laughs> like, I mean, you got Tom – this is Roger Stallback. Yeah. This is – you. I mean, his hero was Stallback. This is, this is him. Him reincarnated without the triple option offense. It's it's mesmerizing. I mean, Belichick spent a decade trying to get rid of Brady, That's and it. he's on the documentary where he could he could give his side of it. And he's he's Bill. Be- he's well, I just thought Tom. And it's was like, man, Bill, career. this is your. Ch- if you were gonna sign up on the dock and go, <laughs> why do this? Like, go talk or not talk. I mean, it's just like. Well, yeah, we, we already made a comment about that. I'm not going to make a comment. About, well, well, then why come here? I mean, like, why, if we're all if we're just going to go back and use the sound from three years, five years ago, why why'd you sign up to do this? Defend yourself. Tom Brady said you hated him. You made it miserable for him to come to work. Is that true? You know, like, well, I mean, like, oh, bro, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I mean Brady could have won the seventh with the Patriots. Really? Yeah. You know, I mean. All right, we'll wade next. Come back with us. Jordy Collada Show live here from Click Here Digital.
What's up? What's happening? Chilling with a couple of cool guys. You? Chilling and watching some tube. <laughs> Hold on. Did you do it? Hold on. Did you do it? Rusa. Rusa. Hold on. Rusa. 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 Hold on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. Beautiful roof every single time. True. True. At Auctioner, we know healing is a team sport. That's why we've partnered with world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. James Andrews, to create the Auctioner Andrews Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Institute. Whether you're a professional athlete or a weekend warrior, our team of specialists are dedicated to getting you back in the game. So whatever your reasons are for reaching your personal best, we've only got one, you. Auctioner Andrews Institute, long live you. Head health is incredibly important for our student athletes. One of the best ways we're trying to address concussions is on the front end. We're trying to prevent these before they happen. And a big part of that is speaking to the athletes, letting them know what to expect. Okay, speaking to the parents, what to look out for, talking to the coaches so they know the vital importance. Some of the big things we're looking for with a concussion, which is, you know, a traumatic brain injury is one, was there a mechanism? Was there an injury that took place that could lead to this? Often a direct blow to the head, a head-to-head -head hit. If someone's showing signs of concussion, our first step is always to remove them from activity, get them to a place where there's less stimuli, where we can really just sit down and get a feel for the athlete, what they're feeling. We're looking for headache, we're looking for Dizziness, any sign that coordination is off, that something's just not right, get a good evaluation of them to understand what's going on. It's not worth the risk that may be there to kind of ignore it because there are very serious consequences if we don't treat a concussion properly. Click Here Digital, the home of the Jordy Collada Show. Online at clickheredigital.com, if you're looking to set Google ads, set social media campaigns, learn about SEO, display video, or even creative, Click Here Digital has the answer for you. Online at clickheredigital.com or email me directly, Jordy at clickheredigital.com. Welcome back, Jordy Collada Show live here on this Monday morning as we are marching into madness as uh, the greatest time of the sports calendar is about to turn up as it will be March Madness time. Augusta National will be playing here in a couple of weeks and for the first time since 2002, McNeese basketball is going dancing. They are a 12 seed, the dreaded 12-5 matchup as Gonzaga sees the Cowboys on the other side. Coach Willie Wade just doing what Will Wade does, uh, win as uh, his first season down in uh, Lake Charles, a Southland, uh, Southland Conference title, first time to 30 wins, outright tournament champs, uh, and now here with us on game week. Coach, good morning. How are you? Congratulations. I'm doing well. How are you guys? Doing great, man. Uh, before we get to yesterday's news, obviously a fantastic season for you. Uh, you got to feel the momentum of the community and the crowd behind you as you guys have done, uh, you know, as we said, a, a lot of firsts uh, for McNeese basketball. But riding into this time of the year, you got to feel Lake Charles behind you. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been incredible. And yesterday, um, you know, <laughs> our fans came out. I was when they told me they wanted to do the watch party, I was worried how many people would come. But we had about the best, the best, uh, the best group of fans of anybody. So, uh, just incredible. That's why we've been undefeated at home all year. We have a tremendous home court advantage, and uh, you know everybody in the uh, everybody in the uh, communities really rallied around us and, and 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 come out and supported us. And it's been it's been a lot of uh, been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Our guys have our guys have loved it and. Our guys have really done a good job in the community as well, making everybody feel welcome and making everybody feel a part of it. And so it's just been a, a good uh, good marriage between the two. Watching you do this a couple of times, I know that you want to have your team, it's kind of all geared up for right now. I mean, every, everything that you do in, in November, uh, or excuse me, even through like October to, uh, to February is all geared up to March. Uh, how do you feel about your team heading into this time of the year? 
Well, I mean, look, we played our two best games in our conference tournament. We never uh, led by under double digits in the second half. So, I mean, we played really, really well in the conference tournament. We had a little bit of a break, and we're going to get back after it uh, today. We did some light stuff Saturday and Sunday, and now we're going to get back after it and start our preparation uh, Start our preparation for Gonzaga. So, um, you know, we, we've, we've been playing well. We've just got, to, uh, just got to do it now on a big stage. What do you know about the Zags? I mean, they're good. I mean, you know, they've been a national program for a while. Uh, they're uh, they're elite in transition. Their offense at one point was the number one offense in the country. Um, they're they're big. They 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 start a six ten kid at the three, uh, who they inserted in the lineup. You know, about three quarters of the way through the season, and that's that's helped them uh, get on the offensive glass. And they shoot the three well. They don't shoot a ton of them, but they shoot it really well. But we've got to do we've got to do a very very good job in transition and and keeping them uh, keeping them out of transition. Uh, your team's been shooting the ball really well from behind three-point line, right? Yeah, we're top 10 in the country in three-point percentage. We got four guys out there at most times that shoot 40-plus percent from three. So <laughs> we're going to uh, we're gonna need to rope quite a few in uh, to give ourselves, uh, give ourselves a chance. But we're certainly capable. We've done that before, and uh, we've got some very, very, uh, very, very good shooters. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're capable of doing it. And now we just got to go out there and, uh, and make it happen. How do you deal with the psychology part about this time of the year, the buildup, the travel, the different arena, everything that goes into playing in March? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that. I was actually on the phone with our sports psychologist about 1230 this morning, uh, talking with him about all of that, what we need to do, but how we can uh, set our mindsets right. And so we've uh, we'll spend time on that. But a lot of it comes down to just being grounded in our routine. And, and, and you know, like you said earlier, We've been, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yes, God we've bless been, you, uh, the general. Yeah, yeah, the allergies from running this morning. We've been, you know, we've been <laughs> working towards this for a long time, and uh, we've got to, um, you know, we just got to do what got us here. We got to do what got us here at a little bit higher level than we've been doing it this year, but we've got to stick to what got us here, stick to our, uh, stick to our, uh, stick to our main principles here and do them at a little bit higher level and, we need to dictate the environment, not let the environment dictate how we play. And so we'll spend a lot of time talking about that, setting our guys' mindsets, and getting them uh, getting them right as we lead into uh, Thursday night. Uh, are you usually a one sneeze guy? Just one sneeze? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess the allergies aren't too bad down here yet. But uh, usually it's multiple, but just one today. Uh, congratulations on everything, man. It's been a hell of a ride. I talked to people down in Lake Charles. It's been awesome, but I know it's – it's no time to end it now. Uh, best of luck this week. Yeah. We'll talk. To, we'll talk soon. I appreciate you. Hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully we can keep it going. You know what the coolest part of this whole deal is? What is it? I'm on the court after we win the championship, and I met the guy who runs the General Wade account. No the last way. Guy. <laughs> no. He came up to me. We, we left him tickets, and uh, he asked us to leave him tickets, and we left him tickets, and he came up to me, and I finally got to meet the guy. Oh, wow! So it's not an old manager. No, we thought for yeah, we thought Tommy had been bullshitting us for years that it was Tommy, and uh, it is not. It is Holy a uh, he, li- he he lives in Lafayette, and he is everything you think he'd be when you meet him. He is hilarious. Salute. And uh, he said he started it uh, after we he was at our Texas A and M game one year, and after the Texas A and M game, he just started it. But uh, yeah, really good guy. That's been the coolest part of the whole deal. That is Tommy incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Uh, keep it going, man. It's awesome to watch. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Always. There he is. Coach Will Wade, salute. The to general Wade. <laughs> like that it, guy, dude. It had to be somebody 30 from, wins. from that area. <laughs> Lafayette. I mean, people uh, could have sworn it was a it was an ex-manager. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Wade. <laughs> the latest post. Uh, Wade. I thought Tommy was bullshitting us. <laughs> <laughs> the latest post from, from General Wade. Mother. The corrupt NCAA gave us our orders. We will trek north to the Salt Lakes, where a former Cinderella awaits. They call themselves Zags. I enjoy crisp mountain air at this time of year. <laughs> Colonel Chambers will round up the bandits. It is time for the march and mad- to madness. G-W- Brandon Chambers, the two assistant coach. <laughs> the Colonel G- Chambers will round up the <laughs> The GW at the end. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is just great, great content. Oh, dude, it's so good. I can't believe they met him. <laughs> <laughs>
Fielder just died. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's awesome. March 14th. Mother, we have received our papers for March. The men enjoyed the fruits of our labor last night. Crawfish and beer are, the, are our most bountiful feast after a long campaign. In the coming days, we will scout future opponents. And when our destination is called, a fight will begin. We will bring cheese. This dude is just. He's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, I mean, it's good the concept. commitment to it. Yep. Every Keep day. reading. This is every day. Coach. Keep reading. Mother, Give me another one. <laughs> Mother, I awake filled with an an- anticipation and vigor unmatched by my rivals. These moments don't come without much sacrifice. In my desolate isolation from the hardwood, I often dreamed of conquering a conference again. <laughs> I hope the bandits understand what is at stake. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, I gotta man. give it a follow. Go get it. Oh, dude, are you kidding me, Lord? Jeez. This is good shit. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I think I, I did snort. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh,. <laughs> Uh, All right, Remember Daily, we're brought to you by our friends over at Hughes Mechanical. Get in touch with them, Hughes Mechanical Contractors. As uh, You can find them online at HughesMechanical.net. they got offices up on the North Shore and in Zachary. Can help you out all along South Louisiana. Call them uh, at Hughes Mechanical, Hughes Mechanical Contractor. They're a uh, trusted Daikin dealer, uh, and they are commercially licensed as well, so they can help you out residentially or commercially. Uh, Hughes Mechanical Contractors online, HughesMechanical.net. Travis Hughes and the crew. 225-658-2147, 225-658-2147, 225-658-2147, 225-658-2147 is the phone number if you want to get in touch uh, with uh, uh, Hughes Mechanical Contractors, Travis Hughes and the crew. Uh, all right, so Beth Tarina and the crew uh, lose to uh, Ole Miss of the weekend. And look, I, I'm, I, obviously. I think they play again today. They do. So. Uh, it's a Saturday, Sunday, Monday series. Um, by no means... Am, am I celebrating a loss? But you knew they weren't going to go undefeated. Yeah, and it it's almost kind of like at at twenty at twenty three games, twenty four games. You're like, eh, you know, like yeah. this is a lot of pressure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time we go out, the first thing undefeated LSU takes the field. LSU, the only undefeated team in the country, only on. And it's like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Because it's not all about just being undefeated. You know, I mean, like it's you know, watching this Patriots documentary, the one that gets Brady the most is the 18 0 team. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I mean like, Brand new he Bob. gets red faced talking Boston? about it. I mean, he this, tells Moss at the line of scrimmage, when I make eye contact with you, just, you go opposite. Just go. <laughs> Brady puts it on his helmet. Does Randy Moss not have a ring? Not have a ring. Damn. That one's got to hurt. Like, yeah, and you could kind of tell in the documentary yeah. how it, how it hits him like that yeah. eighteen and oh. I mean, and he, and he's like and, and then he he, t- he, he talks played about on the, the Patriots ball. best team yeah he talks about the ball hitting he's like hit my hands you, right, you I, tell it wakes him up yep <laughs> keep him up at night middle of the night like, I mean like, that ball hit huh. his hands <laughs> guy's got three hundred NFL touchdowns like and it, the one that wakes him up the, the one, one that got dropped. away I mean like it was. Whew. I mean, you Brady think about put it, it on. He put it on his face mask. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer anyway, but still, like you think about Randy Moss's legacy. Doesn't have a ring. Like everybody's know. gonna bring that up. Like Randy Moss doesn't have a ring. It's crazy. It's wow. Um, but from LSU softball standpoint, I, look, they, they they do play again today. They have a chance to take the series. Um, and like I said, I think that it's kind of a good thing. You know, I mean. By no means do you want to celebrate losses and, and you want to keep this train rolling. But, you know, the undefeated Tigers, every time they take the you know the, the field, is enough. Yeah. Enough. You know, top-ranked LSU. That sounds a lot better. Did you see the Justin Fields trade this weekend? Uh, yes. That, Pittsburgh? Yeah. But that, it, it's kind of wild that they – It didn't make any sense. I, I would say they undervalued him. I, Pittsburgh I mean, or Chicago? Chicago. Yeah, like, Chicago. I mean, greatly. Greatly. Like, I mean, and he's handled it fantastic. Yeah. Like, he hadn't said anything. He he has handled this. No, he put out a great thank you. You know, he put out, like, the social media thank you. I mean, I, Justin Fields legitimately has a he, – he's got a case to be irate. Yeah, and – Like, you didn't, you didn't give him any help. You didn't give him any support. When you did, he played well. 
and you ship him off for peanuts. When you look around the league and Kirk Cousins is signing $100 million contracts, David Carr is getting extensions after $100 million signings. Daniel Jones. Barf. I mean, like, shame on the Saints for not getting in the, in, 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 into the Justin Fields sweepstakes. Yeah, Saints I mean, gonna... if you're so worried about the quarterback market, this guy's sitting right here, and you lose Jameis. And you could have and you could have got – you could have sent off three – Fifth round picks for him because oh, obviously that's what he's worth. Because they sent off a fifth round pick for him, and the Saints have three fifth round picks. I just, I, I'm pulling for Justin Fields. Same. I think he's stepping into a good situation at Pittsburgh. I mean, you know, Russell Wilson's going to screw that up at some point. He's going to lose the locker room. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's going to be two weeks in a training Still camp. Sitting. Everybody's going to be like, Whoa. man, somebody get this fake guy out of here, man. Um, I just, there's such a, I mean, I guess they have that much faith in Caleb Williams to huh. come in and change Which, the dynamic of the what, franchise. Tell me what they, tell me what you saw. Like, I see the, I see the ability to throw it. I, I see the, I see all of that. But I mean, you know, I, I've, I've bit the, the Jamarcus bait just like everybody else. Yeah. I mean, when it's, you got to put them into a situation where they can thrive. I mean, there's got to be some type of mentorship or some type of guidance. And to me, Caleb Williams does not look, feel, get the sense that he is a day one starter just because he's the number one pick. Right? I mean, Patrick Mahomes went 10. He sat for a year. I mean, and I know his comp is Mahomes. He's not Mahomes. I mean that's unfair. I mean if you if you just look at like their college careers, Justin Fields had a better college career than Caleb Williams did. He went to the playoff twice, and it went to a natty. Caleb Williams did not. <laughs> so just, I mean, I mean if we're I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a Fields fan. Same. I really am. I mean, I would seeing what they got for Justin Fields. I mean, I would have if that, I was the Saints. Justin Fields would have been the starting quarterback for me by week two next season. And he'd add a $100 million clipboard carrier. But they're obviously so worried about putting competition around this guy. They and they're so them. committed to this astronomical, moronic contract that they put in front of him. That it's just, I mean, it's the it's the Derek Carr show, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, and they we're here. Him, man. We're here, man. <laughs> We went from Brady versus Breeze to Carr versus Cousins. Let's get it. Mayfield versus Young. Should be great. NFC South. I mm. mean, Justin Fields. I don't, I don't, give me Justin Fields all day. Pegasus J says Justin Fields was playing with four first round receivers. Two? Uh, he was playing with me, Stewie, and Christian as offensive linemen. Yeah. And I th the only first round receiver they had was uh, what's that? DJ Moore. DJ Moore, and I think they had Chase Claypool, but Chase Claypool was they dealt him to Miami, huh? Yeah, and he wasn't really good with the Bears anyway. So it's like, I mean, yeah, he was a first round pick, but he wasn't worth the first round pick. Uh, did I see the Bengals signed uh, the white tight end from the Dolphins who tries to get uh, gritty? Uh, yeah, Gasecki. Yeah, stud. Yeah, he is. He's a stud. <laughs> from I Penn mean, State. Like, yeah, he can not gritty, but he's a stud. Yeah. That's a good signing. Yeah. I mean, and they just signed Sheldon. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the Bengals just signed Sheldon Rankins, too. All right. They tried to trade him for Justin Jefferson, right? I, I mean, think they. I is think, that true? I don't know if the Bengals have enough money to pay Justin I, Jefferson. Yeah, and I don't That's That's fine if they don't do that. Like, protect the guy, man. Like, let's see. But I love that tight end signing. Yeah, I mean, just put weapons around him. I mean,. Gasecki, right? Mm -hmm. Mike Gasecki. Oh, the Bengals do have money to spend. So maybe they. Insiders around the league believe the Bengals. This is a few days ago. Are pursuing. Yeah, no, I saw that. We 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 talked about that. You know what the team to watch is right now is the Texans. Yeah, I mean, I'm buying stock on Houston. They know they know they can win now. Yeah, they got a feel to them. I mean, they're inside of this window with this rookie contract yeah. where we can spend money and we got a dog. Got to keep her away from Ruby Rose. 
What's, what's that? Who's in their conference? Uh, that's Indianapolis. That is Houston, Tennessee, and Jacksonville. Oh, they could win that conference every year. Like, they could pretty much win that every year. Yeah. The only threat to that is Jacksonville. Jacksonville yeah. Cause or the Titans, if Anthony Richardson's a player. Yeah, yeah. but he's – I'd say he's injury prone currently. I mean, so he that, even finishes rookie season. He's another season. one, like we talked about with Burrow. He's going to have to learn how to change his style to make it mm. because he could be special. Yeah. I mean, you know, like he could be generational. You could be, you could win, you could lead the franchise to, to, to Super Bowls. He could be the Cam Newton of that franchise. Absolutely, hundred, hundred percent. I think he's a little more. But you could also be out of the league in four years if you don't change your style. Right. I mean, it's just, I just this Justin Fields thing is it's, it's kind of mind boggling. But I mean, the Steelers won. Steelers win. Steelers went from having no quarterbacks to having a quarterback and a half. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> quarterback and a half. About a quarterback and a half. Because Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson. He's going to do something that is going to rub somebody the wrong way in that locker room. or And they dealt Pickett managing. to Philly? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, Kenny Pickett's out. Yeah, tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we appreciate you being here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're looking into a bracket challenge. Uh, we will uh, we will let you know uh, what's going on with our bracket challenge. Uh, busy day over here, so we're going to get to it. Make sure and have a great day uh, wherever you are. Uh, stay safe. Uh, make sure and get in touch with the G Squad. Remember our big truck accident, the state's big truck lawyer, uh, getgordon.com. Uh, remember the G Squad. You can find them. 888 8888 is the phone number. Uh, getgordon.com. Uh, we do that all the time. You can find them on social media. Over 4,000 five-star reviews on Google as well at getgordon.com. Easy to find out where uh, you can be a part of the G-Squad. Who are the newest athletes they've added to NIL? Uh, easy to find out that as well once you get to the website at, uh, at, the, uh, at Get Gordon uh, and getgordon.com. All right. all right, everybody, have a great Monday. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, right here on the Jordy Collada Show live here from Click Here Digital. Friday from 7 to 9. Yeah, you see the notification. We about to go live. We got all your favorite guests. We got them in line. It's the Jordan Collider Show. Come have a good time. It's the hottest show around. We ain't got a flex. Call up G, we get it done. We earning our respect. Tell recruits to let us in. Where they going next? Throw up the L's. Now we lit. Band playing net. From the booth to the east to the west coast. No matter where we at, we live. Mic'd up for show. Open up the phone lines. Come and join the show. Make sure you tell your friends about Jordan Collider Show. Yeah. Yeah, Monday through Friday from 7 to 9. Huh? Yeah, you see the notification. We about to go live. Huh? We got all your favorite guests. We got them in line. Huh? It's the Jordan Collider Show. Come have a good time. Yeah. Monday through Friday from 7 to 9. Yeah, yeah you see the notification. We about to go live. Yeah. We got all your favorite guests. We got them in line. Yeah. It's the Jordan Collider Show. Come have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> through friday from seven to nine yeah you see the notification we about to go live we got all your favorite guests we got them in line it's the jordan collider show come have a good time it's the hottest show around we ain't got a flex call up g we get it done we earning our respect tell recruits to let us in where they going next throw up the l's now we lit band playing net from the booth to the east to the west coast no matter where we at we live mic'd up for show open up the phone lines come and join the show make sure you